in this video, in order to show the difference between lamp port and wave port, a micro SD patch antenna is excited by both these excitations. Therefore, we compare these two excitations and express their characterizations. Here, we use driver modal solution type. However, for such a structure, we could use drive and terminal, since there is a specific ground reference in this case. In the first step, we excite the structure using waveform, since such excitation must be placed outside the structure and exactly where the energy enters the structure, the solution space is considered as this. The dimension of the waveform should be considered as it includes all of the energy and also a scattered fields out of the structure to increase the accuracy. By right click on the sheet and selecting assign excitation, we can choose waveform and then this page would be opened. In the next page, we can specify the number of modes. Here, we have only one dominant mode of TM010, so we let the number of modes equal to 1. Then, in the integration line, we specify the direction of the field using a line. This line actually is a calibrating line, and it is required to make voltage calculation. In the next page, by activating the embed option, we can change the reference plane and this option is so useful to remove the effect of the phase difference created by transmission lines. Therefore, in such a structure, wave port is more accurate than lamp port. Here, we put the reference plane in where the wave enters to patch. Then, by pressing finish, the waveform definition is completed. Note that since in waveform the impedance of the port is not specified, using this excitation, gamma and impedance parameters can be calculated in addition to F, Y and Z parameters. In the second step, the structure is excited by lamp port. Despite of the wave port, lamp port can be placed inside the structure. Therefore, the solution space can be considered as this. In this case, we should consider an excitation plane between the conductors and in the width of the micro strip line. Note that this excitation is not suitable for a structure which are filled by more than one material and the structure such as shown here, which have a discontinuity. No, to assign the lamp port, we do right click on the sheet and select assign excitation and then lamp port. This page would be open. As it is seen here, in this case, we should specify the port impedance and reactance. Therefore, using this excitation, only S, Y and Z parameters could be calculated. And the parameters such as impedance and gamma cannot be computed. We put impedance equal to 50 and then press next. As it is seen in the next page, using lamp port, only one mode can be computed by clicking in the integration line. The direction of the field can be specified. Then press next. For this excitation, the option of the embed is deactive. Therefore, this excitation is suitable or junctions or the structures in which the excitation should be placed inside the structure. No, we compare the simulation results with each other. As it is seen, these parameters of these methods have a little shift with each other. Actually, the fields in a microstrip line 
are as shown in this figure and waveform can figure out these fields more accurate than lump board in which the excitation is considered as this figure. This difference results in the observed frequency shift. Moreover, the two-dimensional and three-dimensional pattern achieved by this excitation have a little difference as shown in this figure. I hope you to like this video. Please subscribe me for more. Thank you.